Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexa in Akhlabath High School in the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of 8th class maths. We have uh, discussed different different chapters in our 8th class. Today we are going to discuss a simple and then easy chapter that is exploring geometrical figures. What are this? We have seen different different uh, figures such as circle, square, rectangle, right? How do we draw them, right? How do we understand? How do we compare between two figures? For example, if I say there are two triangles, how do I relate these two? That means, uh, how are they related? How can I get one more triangle ka information from using first triangle? What is the relation? That is, we are going to discuss the topic such as congruency, similarity and symmetry. What is this congruency? Right? When a two shapes are said to be congruent, okay? Uh, we have learned the term congruence in different different contexts. Today, we are going to learn the term congruency in our geometry. Okay, see here. Congruency clearly tells that both the shapes, I mean, both the figures should have the same shape. First basic rule. Okay, for example, if this is an angle 30 degrees. Okay, what did I do? I have kept this as horizontal and I have varied this. Okay. What if I have put like this and I have put 30 degrees like this. Can I say both are congruent? Yes, obviously because the shape whatever it is that is fixed irrespective of the length of the rays and the direction in which they are projected. Okay. And next see here. If this is a square of side 5 centimeter okay there is one more square of side 5 centimeter tell me obviously they are congruent how because they have same shape but the thing is only there is a slight variation in the presentation clear that is the only basic difference what is it a congruency means two shapes should have I mean uh, both the figures should have same shape with almost same dimension clear you do understand right now tell me how do we identify whether two figures are congruent or not first thing they should have same shape and they should also have same size clear here 5 centimeter, here also 5 centimeter. If it is more than 5, they are not congruent. Remember that rule. Fine? Good. And the next similarity. What is the similarity? Tell me the first thing. Uh, similarity is nothing but they have same shape. First thing, the basic rule. Okay? Let us consider these two triangles A, B, C, P, Q, R. Okay? They are having same shape, but I didn't mention any kind of measurements there. Okay, therefore we cannot judge whether they are congruent or not, which means they are they may have same size or different size. Clear? Is it right? Until unless I specify, you should not fix that they are congruent. Congruent both we should have two conditions: one is same shape, and second one is same size. First condition is satisfied, second is not satisfied yet. Clear? Fine. Similarity is both the triangles should have same shape and the second rule is the sides of both the triangles should be proportional. Okay. What is this proportion? Boleto? The ratio of AB and PQ should be equal to ratio of BC and QR should be equal to AC by PR. This, 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 this and this, this. Clear? They should be proportional to each other. Proportional boleto. If I double this, we should get all the sides of this. Okay. Let us say I have 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then this triangle should be double of this. That is 4, 6, 8. Clear? Yes or no? Both have same shape and the size or the ratio of the sides are proportional clear tell me 
what's the first condition same shape and sides are proportional clear you do understand once again tell me first thing is congruency what is congruency both the figures should have same shape and same size clear and second one that is similarity both the figures should have same shape and the side should be proportional clear now if you can you tell me can a triangle or the can two uh, for example let me say two figures are congruent can they be similar yes there is a chance every congruent i mean every similar uh, may not be congruent and every congruent may not be similar okay why because however they have same shape same size which means their ratio is always one obviously there is some ratio which means both the triangles are also equal so they can be called as similar but all the similars cannot be congruent why because the ratio is varying here clear fine good next symmetry what is the symmetry you would have learned this kind of uh, topic in your previous uh, class also symmetry is very simple topic for example uh, if i say there is some letter h is it symmetrical yes you people always know this is symmetrical this is symmetrical line a b c d what is symmetry symmetry is in the sense whatever the shape we have even if we rotate it looks like before okay see here even if i rotate this h letter i will get same a b c d in the opposite direction that means here i'll have c d here i'll have a b clear and tell few more letters like that a okay for example if this is c if i tell this as my what symmetrical line then if i rotate also it will be same as it is okay then uh, you would have learned the different symmetrical lines that is point symmetry line symmetry plane symmetry okay point symmetry is everything is rotated with respect to a particular point line symmetry is like this we have to rotate with respect to a line either ka it will go that side whatever it is there on that side will come this side okay if it is plane the whole plane i mean the plane will be fixed and the whole thing will reverse clear you do understand the basic concepts what are those congruency similarity and symmetry okay shall we do few problems of this uh, topic let's do see here uh, let us do few problems on that the first question he is asking us to draw two congruent figures and he is asking whether they are similar or not okay when two shapes are said to be congruent i mean two figures their shapes must be same and their size also must be same let us take uh, two triangles okay let us take two triangles let me name it as abc and one more triangle pqr he gave that both are congruent what do this mean both are triangles first condition is fixed then both have same shape second same size which means ab is equal to pq okay and the next bc is equal to qr okay and the next ac is equal to pr clear and he is asking us to check whether they are similar or not when they are said to be similar when the ratios of all the sides are equal okay let us see ab by pq bc by qr ac by pr okay obviously they are equal why because this is equal to this this is equal to this and this is equal to this the ratio is always one 2 by 2 is one right similarly ab by ab is also one okay therefore 
congruent shapes are always similar okay congruent triangles are always similar isn't it yes or no remember that congruent are always similar but similar are never congruent they may be or they may not be okay next see here he is telling triangle abc is congruent to triangle nmo okay let us draw both of them triangle a b c and triangle n m o right he is telling both the triangles are congruent then he is asking us to tell us the congruent sides and angles which means the sides and shapes ab equal to n m and the next bc equal to mo and ac equal to or else ca is equal to on just to try to maintain this order okay and the next what about the angles angle a equal to angle n or else let me write it as cab is equal to angle o n m here try to write like that all the time next this angle is equal to this angle triangle abc is equal to triangle n m o okay and the next this angle is equal to this angle Tri angle bca is equal to angle m o n isn't it yes or no what is that we have to remember we have to specify the angles very clearly never just write the angle as angle n angle a maximum of the time you have to remember because whenever you discuss about the angles between two shapes or two triangles or two different shapes then you have to mention the position of the triangle we can say just n what if there is one more angle here tell me the n can be this side or this side is it clear so we have to specify like this and whenever you discuss about congruency and similarity try to maintain the order of this okay ab should be equal to n and this order should be maintained a b c n m o okay don't draw in whatever you want a b should be equal to n m b c should be equal to m o c a should be equal to o n clear you have to remember that don't get confused next he is asking us to draw the lines of symmetry you people know very well how to draw and everything you can draw through a side or through a point like this this is one line this is one more line and this can be one more line yes fine and what about this one two three okay you can draw it properly in your book next we can draw this through points or we can draw through sides clear this can be in the same direction okay right next did you understand how to draw symmetry shapes and lines fine next you should be able to draw even if we give half side of symmetry you should be able to draw next half of the shape okay done see here this is very interesting and easy question which is basic thing here if you observe these are different pillars you can find this question in your textbook these are different pillars on which there is some kind of iron uh, rod or something okay he is telling the distance between two pillars is 1 meter and the height of the last pillar is 10.5 meter and he is asking us to find the height of first pillar how do we find just if you observe here this is o let us say this is a b let us say some c d e f let us write here c and d okay if you observe triangle o a b and triangle o c d okay the distance between two pillars is 1 meter bole to this is also 1 meter this is also 1 meter 
okay if I add this whole thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 therefore this is total is 7 meter clear and he gave this as 10.5 meter and we have to find the height of this clear did you understand once again let me tell you there are 7 pillars on which there is an iron launch kind of thing is I mean kept on this he told the distance between two pillars is 1 meter and the height of last pillar is 10.5 meter then he is asking us to find the height of first pillar clear good and now see here let us take this triangle OAB and let us take triangle OCD right here the base is 1 meter height we have to find here the, in the total triangle the height is base is 7 meter and the height is 10.5 meter right now tell me are these two triangles congruent or not yes they are obviously congruent yes or no no they are similar why tell me congruent means all should be same right they are not congruent they are similar ok because this angle is same obviously the same line ok since they are parallel these both angles are also same and this is obviously 90 pillar means we always it should be straight clear now therefore triangle AOB is similar to triangle AOB then it should be COD ok then what is the second condition the ratio of the corresponding side should be equal ok then you see here OB by OD is equal to AB by CD ok let us take AB as X ok see here OB is 1 OD is 7 AB is X CD is 10.5 clear now let us cross multiply and find the answer x is equal to 10.5 by 7 I can write it as 105 by 70 ok well that uh, 105 going 7 table yes it will go right 7 ones are 7 15 za, that is 15 10 za, that is 1.5 meter therefore height of first pillar therefore height of first pillar is 1.5 meter clear yes or no can we find the remaining heights also yes we can how did we find by using the method of similarity clear did you understand uh, the, by this chapter we can conclude this uh, exploring geometrical figures ok what all we learnt in this chapter we have discussed what are the basic figures and the next what is congruency similarity symmetry ok now tell me what is congruency a congruency is when both the figures should have same shape and same size ok next what is similarity both the triangles should be similar only when their shape should be same and the second is the sides are proportional ok and obviously the angles will be equal because when the shape is equal angles will be always equal ok good and next we have learned what is symmetry line symmetry point symmetry ok then we discussed few problems based on that clear fine let us meet in the next session with the more problems of class. Thank you.